In China, the annual session of the National People's Congress is now underway. A gathering of about 3,000 representatives sets out the country's key policies. One focus is on the target for economic growth. Chinese leaders have set it at 6 to 6.5 for the year. And that's a drop from last year's goal of around 6.5 percent. Now, Yuko Fukushima from the Business Desk joins us for more details. Yuko, give us the latest. Right. Premier Li Keqiang announced the growth target and cited its increasing challenges for the world's second largest economy. He said trade frictions with the United States have affected production as well as market sentiment. And now look at how the markets here in Asia reacted to the news. In China, the Shanghai Composite was up almost nine-tenths of a percent, being one of the few gainers in the region. Many investors like the stimulus measures set out by Premier Li. But analysts say buying was limited as there was little surprise in the announcement so far from the National People's Congress. And in Tokyo, the Nikkei dropped uh, four-tenths of a percent. Uh, investors were disappointed by the Chinese government lowering its growth target for this year. Many companies that do business in China fell, including construction machinery maker Komatsu and robot manufacturer Fanuc. And here's the rest of the region. Some indexes fell for the same reasons. South Korea's Kospi was down half a percent, and uh, Singapore Strait Times also slid half a percent. A poor reading of February manufacturing activity also pulled the index down. Now, joining me now in the studio is Mr. Kulong. Hello, uh, from the Tokyo Foundation for Policy Research. He joins us for an in-depth look at the Chinese economy. So, uh, Mr. Ka, China lowered its growth target uh, this year, and we've seen, like we see here, China's uh, growth rate for last year is the lowest in 28 years. You've just been to China. How do you see the Chinese economy? Well, Chinese economy, you know, really uh, dropped to, to a uh, record low level, it's true. But I think that the real economic growth rate is more lower uh, than yeah. the uh, announcement by the government. How low do you think it is? Uh, last week. Zero to two percent. Yes. Well, that's pretty low. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the real concern, I think, is not the GDP growth rate. The one of the problem is that uh, uh, the technology is too weak. Mm -hmm. They need to privatize the SOEs, but the Xi Jinping, uh, the president, mm -hmm. only want to mm -hmm. uh, improve the you know SOEs to be uh, bigger and uh, larger. But I, I think it's a mistake. That's a big problem then for the Chinese economy. Yes. Now, uh, for today, looking at uh, Li Keqiang's annual mm -hmm. uh, work report, Yes. what did you focus on? What did you think of the report? and the delivery of the speech. Yeah, uh, actually, I cannot find anything uh, what's new in his uh, government work, uh, report. But I just find that he emphasized uh, want to uh, read easy. Mm -hmm. OK. And so you, you didn't really see the will yeah. to yeah. seek uh, quality yes. economic growth. It, it's necessary, report. but how to realize the, 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 the target, right? Right, OK. And what's, but, you know, Chinese government realizes that the economic growth is very poor. What steps do you think the Chinese government will take, and do you think it's effective? Well, I think the policymakers they still uh, want to, you know, realize. So, and what are some of the challenges facing China going forward? Well, actually, the trade war with China resolves this uh, trade conflict with the U.S. Uh, the social s instability will prevail. I see. think so. And do you think this technology? Yes. competition between the U.S. and China will take a long time or? It will take us a very, very great issue could be resolved in a very short because time. Because both of them want, want to finish the, mm -hmm. the, the game as fast as much indeed. And I'll be back with the rest of the Biz News later in the program. Thanks for that, Yuko. The U.S. Commerce Department has launched an investigation into whether imports of materials called titanium sponge threaten national security. Japanese heavy industry manufacturer IHI has reportedly carried out inspections of aircraft engines using unqualified employees. Sources say transport ministry officials uncovered the practice during a visit to an IHI factory. Japanese insurance firms are preparing to do business in Myanmar, the rapidly developing country, has a population of over 50 million and a relatively untapped life insurance market. 
And that's the biz for this Tuesday.